Morning everyone. Um, Saturday morning. It's supposed to be uh, spring, so it's a bit well. It's overcast, but it's and it's a little bit fresh, but it's okay. We can still get out here and do stuff. And today we're going to be working on making a whipping barrel. So I've got the barrel there, emptied and ready to go. Uh, but I've still got the soil from what was in it. Um, so yeah, we're going to go through the motions from what I've seen on uh, B and Bobo One's channel, and uh, we'll see if we can give it a go. We've also got a uh, a new toy to go with the everything, and it's uh, bend it up. It's the gorilla pod. Yeah, there you go. There's a leg of it. So I'm going to test this thing out, strap it to a post, and see what happens. See if it works. So I'll see you soon. Yeah, well, we're hanging off the clothesline. Hmm. Uh, there's something wrong. Something doesn't quite look right. Oh. <laughs> Camera's upside down. Yeah, how we fix that? Alright, so I've cut a bit of ag pipe. It's 100mm ag pipe. Um, just use the hacksaw. Pretty easy to cut through. I firmly fit it and wedged it into the bottom of the barrel. Now, this barrel I had a lime tree in before and to have drainage I did um, drill holes in the bottom and obviously if you're doing a wicking barrel you don't want holes in the bottom because it kind of defeats the purpose as the bottom is supposed to be a reservoir. So I've got some, uh, some either some plastic or some liner that I'm going to put in the bottom uh, in the bottom section maybe even half three halfway up the side of the barrel um to yeah fix that problem and uh and make it a reservoir so i'm gonna go find some plastic be back in a sec okay i got a bit of butyl rubber lining from when i rebuilt my pond um so this is coming up um probably about 20 centimeters or eight inches uh above the bottom which I think is uh, will be enough uh, because the sand I believe just fills this bit just covers that pipe and that is the reservoir so as long as that bit in there is full um, it should work so I've got enough to have to make sure that my folds are pointing upwards so that no water can leak out alright so for the next bit uh, now that I've got them tied together I'm going to put my filling tube in, so what I've done is just got a 75mm pipe, no, 50mm pipe, um, just placed it on the top of the egg pipe, and with some snip scissors I'm just snipping around the basic shape, which is pretty easy to cut through. Just mark, mark it to begin with. Now, I can uh, get the pipe out of the way, snip through the rest of it, and then just trim this end bit off. And that one. Put in the hole. I know you'll fit because I measured you. There we go. Okay, so now the pipe's wedged in the pot. The filling pipe is just here. Just level with the top of the uh, of the barrel. Perfect. All right, on to the next step. Now, just thinking, just before I fill it up with sand and make it heavy, all of my other barrels have got um, wheels on the bottom, so it's easier for me to move them around if I really have to, although my ground here is not exactly even. It still makes it easier once they're full of 200 kilos of soil, whatever. And this one's the only one that doesn't have wheels, so I have to pop off to the hardware store and get some and I'll screw them on before I fill it up. 
Okay, wheels attached, flip her over, let's fill her up. Uh, now, before we fill her up, what has Karen forgotten? Now, there's supposed to be a hole in the side somewhere to allow for um, overflow to exit, so excess water. If we go just above that metal ring, it'll be about a half inch or so above the top of that pipe. So it's probably not so bad. Get some sand in. This is friggin' heavy. can that and do it again. Okay, well as it turns out, having that plastic liner in there was good for idiots proof. Um, I just took the tube out and then lifted the liner up and tipped the sand out of the bucket. So let's try again. Now we do the weed mat layer. Alright, so now we've got the shade cloth, I mean the uh, weed mat wrapped around the pipe. Oh, nestled in tightly. Yeah. Easier to handle in a bucket. damp sand, washed sand, so it uh, seems to be settling into the cracks fairly well but as Rob Bob said, uh, B and Bob said, Rob said, it might take a little while for the sand to settle once you put the water in it, if you don't use wet sand and get in the cracks. Alright, I'm just waiting for my drill to charge up because I have to finish drilling that drainage hole and then I can put some straw on it and complete the process. Okay, next step is to put a big thick layer of sugarcane mulch over the top, so at least 10 centimeters or uh, 4 inches, about that much anyway. So I've got the sugarcane mulch, I'm um, going to whack a layer of that on there. Sorry, I'll just let you dangle off the clothesline here, stop your swing up. Anyway, you get the idea. So I'll put down a little bit more of that. And then I've got that wheelbarrow full of the soil that was in there before. Uh, sift through that, I might mix it together with some uh, cocoa coir um, and some cow manure. A little bit of blood and bone, maybe some rock dust. Give it a good start. And then I'll figure out what to plant in it. So I'll come back and show you once it's ready to go, I guess. All right, filling her up and filling and filling and filling. And we've done like about 25 liters, something like that. And we're finally getting some dribbles out the overflow. So yeah, I reckon she's full. Overflow is working, that's good. A bit of sand out of the pipe there, I think. I do have um, shade cloth, uh, weed mat over the end, but it's, there's a bit of sand residue. Anyway, you can actually hear it when it comes up the pipe. You can hear the pipe filling up. So you know it's nearly full. So there you go. She's loaded up. Now I've got to decide what to plant in there. Alrighty, so we've got it planted out decided to pick my best pink brandywine tomato. Um, it's actually already got flower heads on it. 
and uh, some basil and I think that'll do for now for this area we'll see how it goes got my stand for the tomato to tie it up as it grows up very happy little plants 